introduction <coughs> to subnetting. This is NAT 213 Cisco routers. This is Wednesday. What we did today was we finished up some IP6 addressing, retook the test, and we're going to give an option to take the test a third time over the weekend. I want to introduce sub netting so we're going to do that right now <clears throat> first of all here's a scenario let's say up here is the internet okay so we have the internet up here and we're connected in to a router for our company our company has a remote site here remote site here remote site here so here we have some servers so there's a network we have, I'll do it in a different color, this is a WAN connection, a WAN connection, and a WAN connection. Since we have separate ports here on the router, those would be networks. So the brown are some type of wide area network. <clears throat> and then we have a LAN here, we have a LAN over here, and a LAN over here. Okay, so we have a local area networks here, 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 and here. So we have four of them. So we have seven networks all together. Seven networks to get that need addresses. So what we did here was I said we got this address right here with this prefix from let's say an ISP let's just say so our ISP up here gave us that addressing and to clarify here we made the decision that none of this addressing in here could be private it all had to be public so we have to use this public address to address our lands okay and I didn't specify how big they were and also our three WANs got this one here over here and right here so here's what we did okay so we took this address and then we looked at these bits right here so I drew out those eight bits. And what we did in class was we started to look. We said, well, if I drew a line here, we could have two networks and 126 addresses. How would I get two networks? Well, if we have one bit, it could be a zero and it could be a one. And then if we have seven bits to the seventh, 128, and then we got to take two off for the network and the broadcast. So we could have 126 addresses. So then I said, now nah, let's go here. So when we went here, now we have two sets, two bits to work with. So we could get four addresses out of that. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So then we could have four networks but now instead of two to the seventh we have two to the sixth which would be 64 options for host which would then equate to 62 usable addresses so we finally decided to draw our line right here so now we have these bits are going to give us our networks and that will give us eight networks and if you remember earlier over here we had seven that we needed so that gives us eight networks and then I did the first network come out with this 27 I got 24 prefix bits plus now I created three more so that gives us 27 here was the next network address one group right here zeros all here here's our line this is the network 
and over here is the host and so that was a 32 because of that one right there that's one group of 32 when you look at all of the bits together okay so then you could write out all of these networks <clears throat> And with one, two, three, four, five, with five bits, that would give us 30 addresses. Two to the fifth is 32 minus two, because you can't use all zeros and you can't use all ones. Zeros indicate the network, ones indicate a broadcast. The last thing we did, looking at the other picture, we have these WAN connections in which we only need one address on each side. So we took, and I'll use a different color here, and maybe I can make this color even more distinct. So what we did was we took this first one, we took this first one here, We took this one, which is these bits right here, and we said, okay, we know those are going to be all zeros. We're not going to change those. And then we went in and looked at the bits inside here, and we said, we could draw another line right here. All right. I'm not sure if this last part recorded, so I'll briefly go over that again. We looked at this address, this B5 hexadecimal, and that would be 11 groups of 16. We drew this out. And 5 groups of 1s. So 11 times 16 is 176. Add 5, and we get 181. I took the same thing and split it into 2 groups for binary, and the B be right here, it would be 11, and the 5 would be right here, and then I converted that number to decimal, and of course got the same thing, 181. We looked at what if this was the mask, how many prefix bits it would be, we took that 240 and figured out the 1's, and it would be these 1's, and so we'd have 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that would be the same as a slash 28. This part the host, this part the network. Then the last thing we did a trace route from a computer inside and it showed us going through these routers out to the internet and then it showed us coming from the internet back to our device. And that was it for today.